here is a case of first my first robotic vvf reconstructive surgery that is vesico vaginal fistula repair 35 years old female patient open abdominal hysterectomy 6 months back complaining of urine leak per vagina since catheter removal after surgery ct urogram clearly showed vvf cystoscopy and bilateral rgp shows 4 cm large supra trigonal fistula you can clearly see in hit in the cystoscopy this is the lateral view the nicely the fistula is seen and in the cystoscopy we identify the fistula and uh, bilateral ureteric catheters inserted and one different color ureteric catheter inserted into the fistula. This is done in all the cases whether it is laparoscopy or robotic. So being my first case with SSA mantra reconstructive surgery, I was little doubtful how I can suture but because of my 15 years of experience in laparoscopy it did not add any problem to me. So after the ureteric catheterization we have proceeded with uh, docking of the robo. I only myself did all the uh, docking because initially better to learn this we have four arm SSI mantra in this case only three arm is used this draping is not a difficult thing we can learn and the camera is Olympus HD camera with 3D view so now we are inserting the right and left side instruments which is the right side scissor and the left side is the grasper so center one is the camera so three arms we have used we checked all the movements there is no clashing this is ultimate position when you see from the foot end of the patient this is the movements of the robot it is open console system all the three are from the uh, the lower end of the patient now when we entered initial problem we faced these additions were there lot and the instruments were close so benefit of doubt you, you put the camera more above the umbilicus in short patient it is better that is the first thing in future we will take much more precaution so the the cautery after initial cutting i used uh, we purchased the ligasure cautery then we used that and it is very effective and when we are doing this cautery is coagulative incision so that it doesn't bleed it cuts at the at the same time it coagulates i am pressing the coagulative button here and uh, now i moved uh, cautery very well with the first case itself and uh, i felt that surgery can be proceeded safely in this patient in this patient position is uh, head and down the ports are uh, above umbilicus one port and 8 to 10 centimeters on either side equidistance uh, the other two ports are present uh, this is the separation you can appreciate here with open blades of the scissor very fine dissection is uh, possible without injuring any uh, surface of the intestine this is the what i was thinking how difficult it will be but that was not that much difficult to use the equipment we, we practiced around 10 hours uh, before doing this surgery but I feel laparoscopic skills uh, definitely and the surgical principles uh, are anyway essential to do with any type of new equipment. Only thing is uh, practicing at the console is more important uh, to do reconstructive surgery. Now after initially suppression of the little bit of the sigmoid colon I felt it is not necessary to do any more. Now when sponge is pushed uh, from the vagina we could clearly see some fat I thought I will uh, remove this so that I will have clear vision this is the vagina or the bladder which is pushed with the sponge whenever the vagina is pushed by the sponge usually the bladder comes into our view not the vagina because vagina will be fixed with VVF now when I am cutting I know that it is bladder better to open the bladder I opened the bladder and after that I identified the fistula on the left side of the patient I could see 
both ureteric catheters in the, and colored one colored one uh, uh, ureteric catheter to the fistula here a uh, little bit of uh, uh, beauty of the robotic arms uh, uh, could be done even at my first case i could appreciate and i could do nicely the all the degrees of movement the principle is go to the fistula and make a plane all around now i am making going to the fistula now i i see the see the movement of the arm and when when we cut and separate see this is the cutting fine cutting and then separation see how the bladder in no time in one minute i could separate the bladder and the vagina with huge magnification and a three dimensional view uh, the side tissue will be always uh, puckered we have to release this uh, bladder carefully to avoid the recurrence see i am applying the cautery but it is did not happen we should have patience and uh, I, i did not cut because it bleeds i used only cautery and dissected now see how the the posterior wall of the bladder is nicely dissected from the anterior vaginal wall this is the other corner on the left side with the cautery we can easily we could easily cut actually i am using the coagulative but if you use the cutting it will be much more faster and now small bleeders can be coagulated one instrument which is shown here the holding instrument is from the uh, left side of the iliac fossa this is done by dr hemnath who understands the uh, logistics of the robotic very well in the beginning part so now i am suturing i used 20 v lock and it was so easy to hold the suture and the principles of suturing because of multiple teachings uh, laparoscopic suturing i found uh, very useful the method of holding the suture the pulling of the suture slowly progressing without jumbling the suture here and there and holding firmly with left hand the most important thing i observed is left hand instrument is very firmly holds the tissues and another thing is uh, now see here when i am holding the instrument uh, we can easily understand how much pressure is required because of the previous laparoscopic experience otherwise also i don't think it is very difficult for any beginner to start with except you should know the principles of the surgery which will not change that is here horizontal opening of the unless ocular repair horizontal opening we are doing and horizontally we are dissecting and horizontally we are closing then after the closure of the vagina then we suture the bladder this is the last bite of the vagina would could clearly see the opening of the vagina and then we we have taken bites together uh, the needle holder for 20 and 30 is very good and it is holding very well imagine uh, this surgery could be finished in uh, one hour 50 minutes uh, entire skin to skin usually that is the standard time taken for the laparoscopy but in robotic usually it may take time but did not take time see the suturing of a small thread is also basic principles of c loop and cutting is uh, always same whether it is open laparoscopy robotic now i am suturing from one corner with another um, v lock suture 20 see how we are holding and this is my first case of suturing in fact my first case of robotic is nephrectomy and this is a first case of reconstructive so i got confidence after doing this case the patient did post operatively very well and not leaking so see how the mucosa it get adjusted the camera adjustment how far it should be there how near it should be there with the leg could be done easily i have already released one video about the Uh, ss uh, mantra uh, no conflicts of interest because i have taken because it's less costly than other robots uh, i shared completely the how the movements of the hand how the movements of the leg everything i have shared in that uh, video so in the same youtube link you can see the video now coming to the suturing we have sutured half of the bladder here 99% of the times Uh, i could take uh, both lips uh, together because left hand holding capacity of the instrument is very good now uh, last part i am suturing and after this uh, uh, it closes in fact we distended the bladder 
and checked for any leak and absolutely there wasn't any leak in fact we put 100 ml usually this type of repairs even if you put 15 ml if any leak is there it will be obviously evident so we have not sutured at the end because it's a v lock suture because it's a 3d video some amount of uh, blurring is seen otherwise 3d video was coming nicely uh, we distended the uh, bladder at the end but before that we have kept the omentum which is attached to the uh, sigmoid column uh, so only the vaginal edge is completely covered um vaginal suturing part is completely covered with the see i i can take very nicely under vision bite and uh, suture the uh, the fat and the peritoneum onto it so now this is the last bite lot of tissue was there that tissue only is kept after this the vaginal suture line is not seen so that means the fat is adequately covering the vaginal suture line now it is cut and removed this is the at the end now we have filled the bladder and uh, no leak and then three ports we can see and one port for the drain ultimately four port surgery like any other laparoscopic surgery to conclude lot of to, for last two decades lab robotic surgery is there it is only my experience i am sharing that to with ssi mantra not many might have done vvf repair with this uh, mission but i could comfortably do it that means uh, in future we can do for all reconstructive surgeries uh, with the experience uh, of 15 years of laparoscopy thank you very much